folks. Uh, so it is currently about 10 to 5 in the morning and I couldn't sleep so I've come to Tlacra. <laughs> um, which is a place I have been a good few times before. I've brought you guys along once before but I've never been here for sunrise. Um, so I'm going to give it a go but I don't know, I'm not really sure if we're going to get much but it's worth a shot in it. I'm so glad that there's a McDonald's on my route <laughs> here. So I've one final coffee before I set out. So I was out last night again on Demi Moors and as soon as the sun dropped the cloud just dropped as well. Um, all the valleys around me were just completely full of cloud mist. I had really high hopes for cloud inversion this morning, which would have been literally a five minute drive from my house. Halfway up a hill, walk 200 yards, grab the shot. But that didn't happen unfortunately. <laughs> so instead I've driven some 20 miles <laughs> Uh, in the hopes of grabbing sunrise shot at Talacra. So, obviously, like last time, the main subject around here is the Point of Isle light Lighthouse, which I also shot last time. Um, in fact, there it is behind me. I don't know why I came this way over the dunes. The path here is a lot easier. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Of course now, I also have the drone with me. So, obviously, I'm going to try and grab a few aerial shots as well. Whether we'll get any good light or not, I'm not too sure. But, you've got to make the most of what you've got, haven't you? So, we'll find out, I guess. Look at these thistles. They look bizarre. Probably would have grabbed a shot of them, but the light's just flat and boring. So, might have a look on the way back. Yeah. So, this is obviously the best thing about shooting sunrises. Yeah. Got this whole beach to myself. Nothing else here other than me and the seagulls. Let's get to it. Let's get the drone out.
I think that's enough of the drone for now. Uh, the light, I think, may be about to appear. I can see off in the opposite direction all the wind farms in a beautiful bit of colour. So I might grab the telephoto out quickly, grab a shot of that. But you can also now see below the cloud there, there's some light beams coming down. So I need to get my gear out quick and try and grab something. <laughs> I'm still not too sure what though. I may well have found the composition. Uh, as you can see here, yeah. I've got fairly low down to the ground. I'm basically looking at this sort of tributary stream here. Yeah. Leading off into the pool to the left of the lighthouse. And then off in the distance above that pool is the sun bursting through the cloud. And obviously, got the lighthouse in the background as well. Um, taking a quick little test shot um, and a bracketed test as well. So we'll see how they turn out when I get home. But I'm going to try just with a couple of filters as well. I'm going to use the circular polarizer, see how that affects the image. And possibly a soft grad filter as well. I might even get a six stop out, you know. Let's just have a play around. I've just had a quick little look behind me and we've got these dark, dark clouds coming in. So my thinking is to hop over to the other side of the this little bit of water here onto the drier sand and get a shot looking inland basically off the lighthouse which would be this nice stark, bright monolith almost standing out against this really deep dark sky so yeah, yeah let's, like, let's give that a go so this is what I've found got a lovely reflection of the lighthouse in the foreground there uh, this reminds me of the silt in the River Dee it absolutely stinks and yeah you cannot walk on that really. Well you can but you'd rather not yeah. ruin your boots. Um, so at the moment I'm shooting with I've got the six stop Firecrest ND filter in there as well as the circular polarizer. Um, I'm not using any graduated filters because it's a very even scene really there aren't any particularly light and dark patches other than the actual lighthouse. So I'm just waiting now for the sun just to pop out of the cloud um, to really give some oomph to that lighthouse. So the, like I say, the sky's really dark and moody and that's reflected in the, on the ground as well in the reflection. Then we might be able to make out the line of the sand dunes in the background being nicely lit up as well in the morning sun. So I'm just gonna wait around and wait for the light.
gonna head back home, I think. I've just seen the first person walking his dog. Now it's nearly 7 a.m. So it's getting on for two hours that I've had all to myself on this beach. As always, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, especially those of you who subscribe. Be sure to give the video a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm always happy to chat about my work. I'm pretty sure in the near future, I'll quite likely be doing a little video about this. Tamron G2 lens that I've got, which may, to some people, seem a little bit controversial, but we'll see. I'll leave that with you to think about. Um, yeah. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. See ya.